Hey everybody and welcome to Dr. Cami and Karen Go Keto, where Dr. Cami and I are on a journey to transition from a basically standard American diet to a ketogenic slash carnivore lifestyle. And we have our own personal reasons for doing that. And today we're going to just touch base about our reasons and maybe some of what reasons you might have. Cami, what do you have to say? Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, so for me personally, there were a lot of reasons why I wanted to do the ketogenic diet. And they were centered around health. All of them were centered around health. I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to get rid of my fatty liver. I wanted to get rid of my insulin resistance. Some of these I didn't know I had before we started, but I do have those things. And I wanted to decrease my cardiovascular risk. I want to live. I've got kids. I want to see grandkids. I want to, you know, I, I like my life. I want to be around. So uh, I'm just going to rattle off like a whole slew of benefits that um, the ketogenic diet can do. Um, weight loss is a big one. Uh, fat burning, improved sugar and insulin levels, enhanced mental clarity and focus, increased energy and physical endurance, cardiovascular health with improved cholesterol levels, possibly increasing HDL, decreasing LDL, and decreasing your triglycerides, reduced blood pressure, epilepsy seizure control, which we've known for a while that it does that with the kids, potential cancer benefits, hormonal balance, PCOS, helping with that, anti-aging and longevity, improved digestion. These are all things that we're thinking the ketogenic ketogenic diet can can help with. And I had a lot of those things going on. And I have to say that I'm learning how to be hungry. I'm learning that it's okay. It's starting to feel normal. I'm having much more energy. And as I was learning, you know, as I was reviewing the benefits of the ketogenic diet, it really helped me realize how different I am now and how I was so sluggish before and how I would have to fall asleep on the couch and not be able to get up and just having a very different lifestyle now. And so it's kind of good to look at these benefits because it's really helping me see how far I've come. Yeah, I feel like for me, I wanted to do it partly for weight loss, but partly because I know that it's got a lot of benefits for uh, rheumatoid arthritis and achy joints. And I remember when you, before you had your knee surgery, I was just like, oh, if only Cammy would go on the ketogenic diet, I think her pain would really, would, would be really reduced. And maybe she wouldn't have to have uh, knee replacement surgery. And to me, uh, before Tim died, I really wanted him to get on the ketogenic diet, but he just didn't have enough time to transition from the hospital to a ketogenic uh, or carnivore uh, diet before he passed away. And I just don't want that for anybody else. I believe that everybody on this planet should be on the ketogenic diet because, or lifestyle, because that's what we had as primal people. Uh, that's our ancestral diet. And there's places all over the internet that you can go to, to get you know, more information and, and doctors who have been practicing in this realm for a long time, that low carb USA conference that we go to symposium on metabolic health that we interviewed Doug and Pam there, you know, you can go to their interviews with us and you can see a little more about that. But I, there's, when you cut out the sugar and the carbohydrates, which, you know, turn into sugar and your body starts functioning on fat instead, your life just, it really is transformational. And even if you don't do it every single day, you still get the benefits. I think doing it every single day, you get extraordinary benefits. That's how you live an extraordinarily health, healthy life. But for me, just, just having the mental clarity after giving up diet soda and, and reducing some cravings just from diet soda, and that was before taking out all sugar, right? The, the sugar, you know, and the sugar maybe pops up every now and then, but it certainly is not the draw that it used to be. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And 
The other thing I don't know if I mentioned it was the inflammation. I noticed significant improvement in my inflammation. And I have the other day I ate a taco salad and I ate three tortilla chips. And I think that I had a reaction to those three tortilla chips. It was very interesting. And it was kind of frustrating because it was like three tortilla chips, really? And like, I can feel the difference. But it was kind of encouraging in a way, too, because it made me realize, I think I'm getting to be able to feel my body and what it's doing and what it wants. And I still have cravings. I still have issues with eating too much food, volume. There's, you know, but it's kind of like getting more to the fine tuning points of things. So, you know, that's kind of exciting. And who knows, Cammie, with this transition, it could possibly be the mental clarity that's opening your mind to feeling your body, not mm -hmm. just the physical and chemical reactions, right? Well, I guess that could still be a chemical reaction, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's not just in your gut, it's in your brain. And remember when we were at the low carb conference and I asked a question about which should you treat first, your brain or your gut? And the, and the, whoever answered my question, I can't remember who I asked it of. They said, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, it, it's all connected. It's from, you know, the very beginning inside the whole entire system is all connected so uh, the you know it one will benefit the other if you treat your the mental the you know the emotional aspect of eating by cutting out the fats or get your gut cleared up and your microbiome that's going to help too exactly and i am trying to approach it from a working on the mental part uh, the spiritual part of it, and then also working on the physical part too, you know, the chemical reactions that I can feel going on in my body when I eat properly and when I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I should test out having a Diet Coke, but I think I'll I'll not do that. <laughs> no experiment there for, for now. <laughs> I don't, don't want to get back on that uh, on that addiction. <laughs> Well, and I think also as you get more fat adapted, which my body is really having a hard time doing, um, but I'm being persistent and in it for the long haul, I think that you can get away with things. You'll be able to have a Diet Coke and your body will be okay with a Diet Coke. Well, but why would I want to if it's chemical poison, right? I might as well just drink wasp. Wasp uh, or ant spray or something. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching and catch us on the next video. If you want to hang out with us and do your own ketogenic transition, we want to hear from you. We want to have you subscribe and like us and whatever else people do on YouTube. Bye, guys. All right. Take care. Have a good day.